Let's see if you know enough math to solve the pizza slice math problem. So here is the question. You have a 12 inch pizza cut into eight slices and each of these slices is the exact same size. What is the area of one of these slices? All right, so feel free to use a calculator, but uh, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct solution in just one second. Then of course, I'm gonna solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help in math, come on over to my site, tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so one more time, here is the problem. So we have a 12 inch pizza. So here's our pizza. We're talking about the width of the pizza is 12 inches. And we're looking for uh, one of these slices. So this pizza is divided up into eight slices. And we want to know the area of just one of these slices. All right, so let's take a look at the answer. The correct uh, solution here is approximately 14.13 or 14.14, somewhere in this uh, area, inches squared. So if you got 14.14 or 14.13, well, that indicates to me that you did this problem correctly. So you're definitely going to get a happy face and an A+. And if you're very sad, you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, I forgot all this stuff. It's been like many, many years since I've done any basic geometry. Well, no big deal. I'm going to walk through exactly how to solve this problem right now. So once you've read and understood the question, what you want to try to do is visualize the problem. Because if you can see the problem, oftentimes you can see the solution. So again, we have this 12 inch pizza and a pizza is a uh, course circular uh, shape. But uh, here we need to make the assumption that this pizza is a perfect circle and it has eight slices each with the exact same precise measure. Now the question again is what is the area of one of these slices? So let's make a nice lovely sketch here and then think about the problem. All right, so here is my pizza. And again, it's 12 inches wide. Now in geometry, we have another word for the width of the circle, and that is called the diameter. So the diameter here is 12 inches. Now, if you were going to uh, measure the width of the circle, you can go from here to here, or maybe from here to here. It doesn't make a difference, but uh, what's important is that all these diameters run through the center of the circle. Now, if you kind of notice, it looks like uh, this, uh, di these diameters are kind of being uh, cut in two because from the center out to the edge of the circle is another dimension in a circle, and that is called the radius. So the radius is always one half of the diameter, right? So that's the radius that goes from the circle or the center, excuse me, out to the edge of the circle. And then the entire width of the circle is the diameter. All right, now this is important because we're looking for the area of one of these slices. And in order to uh, calculate the area, we're going to need to understand the diameter and the radius. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a formula here that uh, maybe some of you forgot, but uh, it's the area, or excuse me, it's the formula for the area of a circle. So the area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. So this is the only formula that you need for this problem. Now, of course, I'm going to walk through all the steps here. But if you forgot the formula, here it is. And remember, we're trying to calculate the area of one of these slices. But uh, this formula here will give us the area for the entire circle. Now that we know the formula to calculate the area of an entire circle, again, that formula is equal to pi r squared we uh, can figure out the solution to the problem. So remember the problem is asking for one slice, the area of one slice of this uh, pizza that has uh, eight slices. So if we can kind of see our diagram here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight slices here, each one being exactly the same. So what we're really trying to calculate here is one eighth of the area of the entire circle. So if we can find the area of the entire circle 
and divide it by 8, well, we will have solved the problem. So let's get back to this uh, formula here. So the area of this circle is equal to pi r squared. Now remember, r is the radius of the circle. So that's the distance uh, from the center that goes out to the edge, but it's also one half of the diameter. So we have a 12 inch uh, pizza here. So the radius will be six inches. Now, what about this symbol right here? Well, that is pi. And pi is uh, approximately equal to the decimal 3.14. Now, pi is one of the most important uh, numbers or values in mathematics. But uh, the interesting thing about pi that, uh, the interesting thing about pi, excuse me, is that it is a decimal that doesn't repeat and doesn't terminate. In other words, the digits of pi are just kind of random and they go on and on to infinity. So we really can't uh, get all the entire precise value uh, all the digits of pi, all right? So that's not possible. So what we do is just use this symbol right here to represent all those infinite digits. But in kind of practical mathematics, what we can do is use a very rough approximation, 3.14 to represent the value of pi. Okay, so let's calculate the area of this entire circle, and then we'll figure out uh, one eighth of it in just one second. So the area of the entire circle is gonna be pi r squared, again, r is the radius, which is six inches. So let's do this number crunching right now. All right, so again, here is the area or the formula for the area of a circle. That's pi r squared, r, our radius is six inches. So we're gonna plug in six for this r right here. So we're gonna have pi times six squared. Now this pi times this r squared, this is multiplication. But to remember in the order of operations, we have to do powers first. So six squared is what? That's six times six, which of course is 36. So our answer here is 36 times pi. Now again, uh, the value of pi is approximately 3.14, but we're gonna hold off uh, doing this number crunching right now. Matter of fact, uh, you can leave your answer for the entire area of the circle just like this, 36 pi inches squared. Before we finish up this uh, lovely math problem, make sure to take a quick second to like and subscribe. This really does help me out on YouTube. Make sure to hit that bell notification as well as I'm posting every day. So if you wanna improve in mathematics, make sure to get my latest videos. I basically cover everything from basic math to advanced math. Now, if you really wanna learn from me, make sure to check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. All right, so let's finish up this problem. So here is our lovely 12 inch wide pizza or a uh, pizza that has a diameter of 12 inches. And the question is, what is the area of one of these eight slices, right? So we have our 12 inch uh, pizza and it's uh, divided up into eight slices. We wanna find the area of one of these slices. So uh, we discussed a strategy to figure this out. So if we can find the area of the entire circle and then take one eighth of that, we'll, we'll, uh, we will have figured out the correct answer. All right, so we already did the work to find the area of the circle. Again, that's 36 pi, but uh, now we need to find the area of one of these slices. So we're gonna take uh, one eighth and multiply it by the area of the circle. So that's gonna be 1 8 times 36 pi. So now we'll go ahead and use our calculator just to get a nice lovely decimal approximation here. And uh, we'll let uh, 3.14 represent the value of pi. This is a very rough approximation. You can go out uh, with more decimals here and your answer will be more um, accurate, but I'm going to use a very rough uh, approximation of 3.14 just to keep the math nice and simple. All right, so this uh, is going to be 1 8 times 36 times pi. We uh, are going to replace this pi with 3.14. So that means we have to break out our calculator and take 36, multiply it by 3.14, get that answer, and then divide it by 8. All right, so when you do all that lovely number crunching, you're going to get approximately 14.13. But to remember, we have to think about the units of measure here. So we're being asked about the area of one of these pizza slices. 
and the width of the pizza was given uh, given to us in inches. So the area is going to be in inches squared. So the correct answer is approximately 14.13 inches squared. All right, now, if you got something out of this video, that is fantastic. That's why I uh, make this stuff. And uh, never feel bad about not, you know, uh, understanding a math problem. Or maybe you've totally forgot all this math. Either way, I want you to enjoy my videos and to enjoy mathematics. But uh, if you want to improve in math, well, you want to kind of do it in a nice formal way. So make sure to check out my full main math courses. Again, you can find links to those in the description of this video. And with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.